Good morning, my friends. This is not how I wanted to start today's vlog. I am leaving for Italy this morning and I woke up to a text from Delta saying that my flight was canceled and I was uh, put on a different flight. So um, originally I was changing in Detroit, um, but now I'm changing in JFK, which I was desperately trying to avoid because JFK is undergoing construction and it's just, it's such a huge, awful airport. <laughs> so I'm changing there now. And um, the flight that they had me on leaving JFK to go to Rome was leaving an hour after I land in JFK. And I would be landing into Terminal 1 and leaving from Terminal 4. <laughs> it's like, no, that's not going to work. So I had to change my flight. So now I'm leaving later from JFK into Rome, which is fine. I'm still getting in, I think, around the original time then I would have gotten in. I don't know why Delta didn't just book me on that flight. Anyway, and then they had all of this... Um, messaging like, you know, if the class of seat gets changed, you're not going to be credited or anything. So basically you'd be screwed if you booked first class and got put into economy or whatever. Um, so thankfully my flight from Vegas to JFK is, um, I was supposed to be in Comfort Plus. They put me back in the main cabin, but I got an exit seat. So, okay, hopefully I retain that. Um, and then my flight from Vegas, no, my flight from JFK to Rome um, is in the same class. I'm in, I forget what they call it. It's like economy plus, um, but it's a middle seat. <laughs> so I'm, I'm slightly annoyed, but I'm like, whatever. It's just, it just can't be a big deal. I'm like, whatever. I'm just... It's fine. It's fine. So, um, yeah, that's how we're starting off this morning. And of course, my flight from La uh, Vegas to JFK is leaving later than originally planned. So now I'm awake at like three in the morning when I could have woken up at like four in the morning. But really, what's the difference? And hopefully we worked out the kinks now and, uh, and the rest of my traveling will be smooth. OK, here's my airport flight outfit. I've got my Lily Silk. Silk, it's my short sleeve, uh, like camp shirt. And then my um, Prada hoodie, my new Rag and Bone Miramar pants. So comfortable. <laughs> so, so comfortable. And my Le Wave Flow Runners. And that's it. I guess I'm ready to go.
Oh, look how terrible I look. Yeah. Oh my God. Okay, we just finished Anyways. dinner, which was incredible. Did you did you enjoy Sarah? Oh, dinner. two thumbs. Two thumbs. <laughs> two thumbs. <laughs> two thumbs. <laughs> if I had a third, I'd give it. <laughs> the uh, Mater D, I will call him Marco, was wonderful. Go see Marco at Four Leone if you're here in Florence. Um, so now, where are we walking to? What am I looking at? I don't know. This is an incredible building. I don't know what it is. <laughs> but there's some fun, fun stuff. <laughs> there's a big tower. Um, Caitlin, tell me, where are we going? <laughs> where are we going? Okay, so. Where are we going? Okay. This is one of the piazzas in Florence. Okay. And this building right here with the clock tower, I believe used to be the old Medici Bank. Oh. Yeah. Okay. And that is a replica of the David. That's obviously not real, and that's Poseidon. Okay. And then Medusa's over here, so we can go check her out. Okay. Awesome. just experienced the most incredible sandwiches ever, <laughs> ever. It was delicious. I had pancetta with a creamy cheese and like a truffle sauce. Holy smokes. Oh, hang on, there's a truck here. Okay, hopefully you can hear me. Um, so now we're walking over to the trade show that I was telling you about, the Pitti Filati show. Very excited. By the way, I'm wearing that new Everlane shirt. It's so good. It's perfect for this weather. It's incredibly warm. It's nice in the shade, brutal in the sun, and oh, I think we're close. Yes. At the Baglioni Hotel now, we're gonna take a meeting soon but we left the trade show. No cameras were allowed in there, but it was really great. All we did was kind of just walk the floor, both floors, just to get a sense of what was going on. And we actually made a really good contact already. So it was really productive. It was, it's like overwhelming. I feel completely overwhelmed, but it was so fantastic to see. But yeah, we're just gonna hang out here until um, the gentleman that we're meeting shows up. We're, we're here early to kind of cool down. It's very warm. I think I'm gonna be saying that a lot this trip. And then we are off to, oh, we're off to the reception after this meeting. Market appointments. So we're just walking around in this 
deathly heat. <laughs> like, I probably look insane and very moist. Right now, that's the word of the week too, moist. With a very strong ST. Uh, anyway, I think we're looking for the cashmere shop because we're not hot enough. We're looking for the cashmere shop. More cashmere. More, more cashmere wool. Yes. Um, so TBD. We'll find we're, it. We're going to find it. Yeah. Early afternoon. Okay. It is early afternoon, right? What time is it? Okay, they're it not is open. 1 52. Okay. So if anybody. <laughs> in unison if anybody wants to like look at all this cashmere that we're just being oh, denied oh, <laughs> like, please. this one in the window with the turtleneck mm -hmm. that one looks really nice Beautiful. there's no heat that will keep us from cashmere <laughs> We're still here. Uh, this is the first morning I was able to sleep in, so I feel very well rested. Um, we are pretty much done with the knitwear market, the trade show that I was telling you guys about, the main reason why we're here. And it was fantastic, but it was exhausting. Just meeting after meeting and just a whole lot of yarn and gathering of information. It was really exciting. But anyway, we're trying to figure out <laughs> what we're doing. We are definitely here for a few more days, which is great. And then we are off to Milan, like I had mentioned to you guys. And our original plan was to go from Milan to Paris, and then we're all leaving from London. So Paris to London. But we're thinking of bypassing Paris and just going from Milan to London. Um, but there doesn't seem to be any direct flights from Milan to London that are at a reasonable Price. And I don't know if it's because we're just booking them um, too close to the date, but like, one of the cheapest flights we found was 700 euro from Milan to London. I'm like, this can't be more than like an hour or two hour flight. And that seemed like a lot. So anyway, we may have to just get a flight where there's uh, either a connection or, or something. Anyway, we, we've been figuring that out this morning. And I also am, uh, I changed the date that I'm leaving from London. So I was on with Delta for a long time, figuring that out. Anyway, we're just sort of, you know, like taking care of a bunch of like admin stuff this morning, travel admin stuff this morning. So it's uh, it's raining, it's pouring here actually. There's thunderstorm warnings, lightning strike warnings, all that kind of stuff. So we want you to walk around of course, but, and, and we still will, but I just don't know how far we're gonna get. Uh, maybe we'll just uh, get an Uber or a cab to take us places. But so far it's just been lovely. Florence is a really, really beautiful almost unreal like beautiful city it's it's just it's really gorgeous the streets are tiny it feels like i'm in a dream it's just really really beautiful like vrbo or airbnb that we're staying in is really lovely the air conditioning is very effective we're so happy us americans are so <laughs> happy about that it is broiling here yeah so every time we walk back into this uh, apartment after a long day of being out, we're like, oh, what a relief. So that's, that's very exciting. And we're actually doing some laundry. That's the humming in the background, if you hear that. So yeah, it's just been a really like lovely time so far. And I'm so glad we have a few extra days here, you know, outside of the market so that we can kind of like really enjoy Florence because, you know, we've gone out, we've, you know, got to dinner and 
gotten gelato and everything after a full day of meetings and I just feel like a zombie. So it'll be nice. It'll be nice to enjoy the city where I feel a little bit more refreshed. And that's it. That's all I have to report. I've done a little shopping. I'll just do a haul video when I get home. It's, I don't even know where the things are. <laughs> It's a little crazy in here, it's a little messy. I don't know what we'll be doing today, but I'll be taking you guys along with us. We have ventured out, it has stopped raining, and we are heading back to the sandwich shop for the third day in a row. Oh no, there's a line. Okay, so this sandwich shop is very popular. Well, we can't have it all. It is our, it's, our third, it's our third lunch in a row there. Yes. We love it that much. Oh my gosh. Oh, it is moving. Okay. Yeah, All those moving. people just walked in. Okay. Oh my God, you guys. Sandwich Chic is the name. If, if you're ever in Florence, you've got to hit the sandwich shop. And the gentlemen that work in there are a delight. They wear bow ties. They're so cute. <laughs> They're so cute. <laughs> <laughs> just finished our most amazing lunch of most incredible sandwiches. And now... <laughs> Now we're heading off for some more shopping. I still remember the feeling. I want to dance till I can't no more. All of this time I've been dreaming. Dreaming on the dance floor, dance floor. Tell me you still remember. One day we'll be together. We all did a, just a little damage. We all did just a little damage at Gucci. Our bags are expressive though. I will have to do a haul for you guys probably when I get home. I don't know if I want to unwrap all this stuff because it's just going to grow. But anyway, now we're trying to find an ATM. That's how ugly it got. No, just kidding. <laughs> we're going to a place that only takes cash, so we need to find an ATM. Had a lovely dinner. We had truffle pasta, cacio e pepe, cheesecake. So we're walking it off a little bit. We're actually walking towards the river. Yeah, we're walking towards the river and it's sunset. It's beautiful. the crystals from the top. Oh, trust me, oh, I can see the so crystals. Good. We can, oh, but when they're not on your face, you can really see them. Like, no, I can see them on your face. You can, like, I can see them looking straight at, like, because I'm below you right now. I can see them. You're because clean. they're, like, glistening. Oh, you're glistening. Good morning. We are headed out to an event that we have been so looking forward to. We are having lunch at the, is it the Gucci Museum? At the Gucci Museum. We got a reservation for lunch today at one o'clock and I showed you the sunglasses that I got yesterday. So I have to show you the sneakers that I got because I'm, I'm gonna be wearing them to lunch today. Check them out. Aren't they cute? They have crystals. I don't know if you can see. Oh yeah, they have crystals on the monogram part. Aren't they so fun? They're super chunky. 
And the best part is, I don't know if you guys can tell, they're entirely padded, like really, really cushy. When you stick your foot in, they feel like they're in like memory foam. Really cool. I think we're ready to go. What time is it? We're a little early, but that's okay. We can make our way over there. Hopefully I can take video in there. I'm not sure, but I haven't been able to take a video in any of like the boutiques we've been in. They've been pretty strict about that. But anyway, I'm gonna bring you along if I can. incredible lunch at the Gucci Museum. It was beautiful. It was magical. It was really magical. Everything was presented beautifully. Everything was so unique. The dishes were so fresh. If you're in Florence, I highly recommend. So we've made our way down to this, it's right behind me, this cheat, cheat, not cheese, what am I saying? This uh, balsamic vinegar, olive oil, wine shop. They have limoncello, they have grappa. I mean, it's incredible and Caitlin, one of the women I'm traveling with, she has been coming to the store for decades with her family. Anyway, they, they shipped back to the US, so I got a bunch of really special balsamic vinegar, some wine for my mother-in-law, some wine for my husband, I don't drink, but oh, just a delight. Cheryl and Franco are the two owners and they're so, so knowledgeable. So definitely check out Borgo. I'll flash the sign of the store up. Check it out if you're in Florence.
Well, this is our last moments. These are our, what am I saying? I'm like delirious. These are our last moments in Florence. We have one more night here and then tomorrow morning, bright and early, we are getting on a train and going to Milan. I'm so excited. Uh, I, I mean, I've never been to Italy before, so I've obviously never been to Milan before. And uh, as I understand it, it is much more, you know, urban and cosmopolitan versus Florence, which is, you know, very old and, and more quaint and uh, probably a little bit more charming. Um, but I'm really, really excited to hit Milan and just check it out. So we're doing that. We're going to be there for a couple days. And I think I'm going to close out this vlog here because I think I'm gonna do a special vlog in Milan for you guys, definitely stay tuned for that. And then after Milan, we're off to London for five days, four nights, and I think that'll make for another vlog. So I'm gonna split up my vlogging into the cities that I am gonna be visiting, and I think that'll make for more interesting content. So anyway, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I've had the most amazing time in Florence. If anyone is even thinking about coming to visit here, I say yes. Don't hesitate. Absolutely come. And let me think. What else? What else should I mention about Florence? Well, I am going to do a haul when I get back home, and I'll probably be able to explain some of the footage where I wasn't able to narrate or it was just too, too much was going on. I bought some artwork um, that I would love to share with you. And yeah. Yeah, so definitely stay tuned for a haul video um, after all of these vlogs once I get back home. And that's it. I'll see you guys in Milan. Mm -hmm.